Hi, Nadine. How are you? Good, good. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> oh, how did you like our class? It was good. I wanted to learn a lot, and I did. And uh, I finally learned how to use PowerPoint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, you did a you you did a good job. You really did. Had you ever done it before? Uh, working with PowerPoint and creating documents, you mean? Yeah, I mean, had you done a presentation with PowerPoint before? No, I haven't. Well, you packed yourself on the back. You did a great. <laughs> you did a Thank good you. Job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you and your writing. Uh, once you got going, you really did very well. You really did. Uh, so are you planning on uh, going to college or what are you going to do? Well, my next step is I'm supposed to be going to orientation at a District 1199C in Center City of Philadelphia. And that's for three days, I guess, to get into classes and to retake a test in order to go for my um, certificate or associates or certification for Microsoft Office Specialist and then put that on my resume and hopefully find work. I've been looking for work for a while now. Yeah, uh, do, do they pay for uh, you taking that uh, uh, Tests for Microsoft certification. I know some programs do. You know, after you well, go course. I won't have to pay. It won't be coming out my pocket at all. Okay, okay. So they're gonna take. And that's through Career Link itself, through a program that I'm in at Career Link. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm I'm following through. I time I procrastinated and sat on things. Now it's time to. Uh, get it moving. So I'm putting the fire under me, you know. I mean, well, I get a little scared, but I'm well, following through. Well, well that's normal. Uh, see, for you to come in and you're about two weeks behind and you caught up and you finished before the week is out, that's... that's I'm surprised. <laughs> that, that, that is commendable. Thank and, you. And see, I I know you can do it because I went back to school when I was 33. Wow. And I got my doctorate at 70. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so you can do it. You know. Uh, Thank it's, you. It's some sacrifice. Uh, yes. Studying, you, you're giving up some stuff temporarily, maybe for a while. But it's worth it. And then learning is till you die. <laughs> what do you mean by giving up some things and sacrificing? What I mean is, okay, uh, you're not going to have a lot of time to do things that you normally would like to do. You know, uh, you got to take some breaks. Oh, okay. But, uh, See, depending on what you're studying, you're putting in some long hours. You yes. know, uh, you want to do better than a C, like you've done here. You, you pass with a distinction. So, uh, but you put the time in, and then you just didn't throw something together. You know, right. you, you turned in something good. That took some time. <laughs> yes, I, you know, reading it, I didn't read the questions and looking and researching and um just wanted to make an impact you know like you said not to just put something on right. paper so to speak and, and turn it in you know right. i mean that's too much like um being in grade school and junior high school you know and right. since of course i've been out of high school for 30 something years yes yeah. i'm feeling yeah. my age here but just that i wanted to have an impact as to what the uh, the subject was, and plus, like, think on it a little bit before I 
answer to it. And see, that was wise, and, and that's what uh, they really want you to do. And that will make you successful, not just for this course, but if you're on a job, you know, uh, and, and you think about it, because your, your answers reflect how much thought and how much maybe reading that you did, you know. Yes. So, so, and that, that is important. And uh, that is good. And if you, if you stay in that, train of thought and you work like that you will you will do well because this is what they'd be looking for on the job sometimes you might start a job and it might not be exactly what you want but because that you give it uh, your time and you give it uh, the best and, and you're giving them what they need and what they want right. it, it moves you right on up yeah okay and so in studying a lot of times you're not going to be able to watch TV. You're not always going to be able to be with the gang. <laughs> you, know, you don't cut it out completely, but, right. but, but there is some sacrifice there. Right. I mean, well, hanging out with the gang, I don't do that. I don't have a, a mutual lot of friends, so to speak, to hang out with and family members, you know, all scattered everywhere else. I pretty much stay to myself, you know, and um, just try to do a lot of things. I mean, on my downtime, so to speak, I like to crochet. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, uh, every day or just about read the Word of God and pray and follow through with some stuff, you know, on uh, the computer. And then if I do have a little time, you know, after cleaning house or whatever you know then I want to sit down and, and watch a good movie mm -hmm. well it's like you got a uh, you know a good routine and you know uh, like you say you're not on one thing but you don't but you just do one thing you become abnormal lopsided so you yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you gotta mix it up and, and, and enjoy, but know when to cut, you know, when right. to hold it down and get done what you need to do. So that sounds good. That sounds Thank good. You. When it came to the class, I, you know, I was, of course, I was behind, and and it was some um, classes that or I would say weeks of, you know, doing the work, um, I would put it off because I wanted to think on it a little bit, you know, and, and then get into that negative, like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, I haven't done it. Oh, my goodness, how to do it. it. And then, you know, I would just come away from it and think of something else to, like, clear my head a little bit of all the crazy, you know. And <laughs> then once I came back to it, and read it again. I was like, oh, it's a piece of cake. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so once I got, you know, the hang of it, and even though I, you know, saw on the modules of like, okay, this is late, this is late, I was like, ah, I ain't worrying about it. I'll just do what I got to do, you know, right. and then even though I was far behind because I had started late, you right. know, and noticing, excuse me, noticing things, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, and then when I would get a um, response from you, it's like, oh, well, you're coming along fine, you know, continue to do um, your own point, I was like, okay, and then start building me up again, and I had to, you know, like, come out of that cloud, and like, okay, put your feet back on the ground, because you still got to do that milestone, you still got to pass these classes, and then when I figure, like, okay, you know, continue on doing it because I mean like some of the time when it comes to discussions you know mm -hmm. I was like well can I just do the classes but when it comes to the, you're discussing what you learn with your other classmates and you mm -hmm. listen you know you're reading what they wrote and you be like well I said the same thing but in a different format mm -hmm. so it was a back and forth thing but then I start to get a little bored with that. And I figure like, okay, well, let me go to another class. Let me, you know, use all this energy I got to finish on something. Then if I don't want to do it or it's right there, I said, okay, I can follow through with that and then read 
those instructions and say, okay, well, let me do a little research on it, or maybe I know how to do it without, like, you know, me saying before, it's just writing something down. Right. Because, you know? right. I mean, Writing, like I said before, writing something down is not the impact that you want to send out. Right. right. You, you want, you know, your teacher or anybody to see like, oh, OK, well, she really thought on it. She really yeah. applied herself. She did some researching, you know, and then I thought of like, OK, if I can do all of that, why can't I find a job? <laughs> 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 what am I? And, and, and then I'd be judging myself and disciplining myself when like you know I procrastinated and here it is you know once I got this together and following through by way of going to career link and by way of going district uh, 1199c and mm -hmm. following through as to even though I've been away from reading and writing but then I haven't been really away from it because I've been reading anything that I get my hands on you mm -hmm. know but I know, you know, since this is a college form that, you know, everything blends together. If it comes, you know, from high school or it comes from whatever you're reading, it's a different outlook on things and that you have to, like you said, you have to sacrifice, you have to think right. and you have to like put it in a way of, you know, writing. And then you also got to check your grammar and check your errors. Because I know you, you check like, mm -mm, that ain't right. No, that's not right. <laughs> no, let's go back to that again. <laughs> and as much as I like your smile, I don't like it if you look mean and be like, you know, that is not right. No, you know, you wasn't taught like that. <laughs> I, I'm just, you know, throwing well, that in. That's because, true. Yeah. 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 Because it is, yes. And see, sometimes it appears that we are being tough when we are, uh, when you go out, you want to do it right. Yes. Nobody's going to have to be pushing you or anything. Just like you say, I know this is not right or this is right. And right. then you can feel good about it. And, 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 and trying to find a job, one of the things, um, because I got laid off from my job, what, two years ago. I had been, been on it 13 years and got laid. They had, had a downsizing. Mm -hmm. When I first started looking for a job, you had to be so careful because you panic because you, you just, you, you've been working all the time. Yes. And, and even if you get unemployment, you know that's going to run out. Right. So, so you let anxiety and everything build yes. up. So one of the things you have to do is relax. And you have to talk to God like you do. Oh, he knows me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and one of the main things is that he gives you the right job for you. So I had to learn to pray, Lord, if that's the way that you want me to go, or that's the way that I should go. Because sometimes when you got education and everything, you can't go into every job. Right. Because you set things in a fit. Yes. <laughs> just, just because you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so, you know, I, I do believe God will open the door for you. And one of the things you relax, and even when you're not being anxious, uh, you know, and, and then sometimes uh, you in with the C what eleven ninety nine, they should be able to help you for a job search. But sometimes those boards, you know, they don't put up the, the most recent jobs. They put mm. jobs up. And, uh, they've been out for a while, and a whole lot of people, you know, applying for them, and you don't even have a chance. Right. So, uh, yeah, you could, and even, I don't know how the employment offices in Philly, but sometimes they help you there and sometimes they don't. So, right. you know, this is where you ask God to help you. And then sometimes you can just be talking to somebody and letting them know what you're looking for 
and they can tell you maybe this is open. It's it's amazing how jobs come. Um, yes. So yeah, God can, can open that door, and and the main thing is, I don't say uh, stop being anxious. Mm. Be concerned, but stop being anxious and say, "Okay, Lord, I'm trusting you for this." Yes, and He will He will open that door. I might not get to talk to you no more, but I know my God. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes He just sometimes He 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 blesses from week to week or day to oh, day, yeah. you know, yes. and he, he does that. So. Yes, I, I I know from experience that he will make a way, especially when you you trust him and you believe in him. And, yes, and when you when you really really threaten, you're not really believing. And, and right. sometimes and sometimes you have to talk to God like you talk to me. Okay, Lord, now you mm-hmm. know I need a job. And, yes, <laughs> yes, and and sometimes and, right down to it, you know. Yes. Um, and some of that time I gotta remember because I, I get over exilious when I talk and the tears start coming and um, I'm banging on stuff and I'm hollering. Then I remember like, you know who you're talking to, right? <laughs> he's not gonna do he's not gonna do it right at that moment. He's gonna do when he wanna do. So you gotta deal with it. It's a difference. Right. You know? right and right. then I'll be like, oh, what did I say? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> you know, because at a point I, I get overwhelmed. I get, you know, anxiety a little bit. Yeah. I get to that part, a little frustration because here it is, you know, I'm hearing other people got work and other people doing this, other people doing that. And I'm like, wait a minute. Why all of a sudden I'm at a brick wall and I'm trying to get over around it or under it <laughs> and everybody else already knocked theirs down. And there, I'm like, what am I? Wait a minute, I'm doing the same thing you're doing. So how can you? But then always remember, you can't worry about what everybody else have. You got to do right. what you got to do. And then when I get to that part, over is upset because it's not happening at the time that I want it. Right, right. You know, right. so right. I get to that part to where I pray and I was like, Lord, I thank you for everything that you're doing this for, continuing on doing for me. Just like knock something down so I can, you know, get the foot in and or the leg. Right. And it just seemed like it's at a standstill because, you know, when I do put in the applications and, you know, talk online or talk to somebody concerning something about a job or anything. You know, I'm always hearing like, oh, well, we're not hiring at this time or, um, you know, thank you for putting in the application, you know, this and that and the third. But then come in a few days, oh, I got a job. How? <laughs> Where you get it? What you doing? What am I not doing? Wait a minute. I'm sending resumes. I'm following through with the call and I'm getting on these people's nerves. How you get a job? Like, oh, well, all I had to do was such a, I'm like, "Mm, Lord, and I'm humming, (laughs) and I'm like, oh, and then all of a sudden, you know, I just stop, and it it seemed like I go into that dark hole again, and then when I come out, it's more or less like I'm a bull with sharp horns and and doing the same thing and trying and following through, and it's like an endless cycle. And then it's more or less you hear the word of God and it's like, well, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but do this instead of that. You know, you follow, you continue to do what you got to do with your education and you never know. And I was like, oh, you're right. But then my deadline to look for work is February. (laughs) So it's like around the corner waving at me. Yeah, well, see, one of the things is sometimes some people might know somebody or, you know, somebody uh, speaking a word for them. But one of the things um, you can ask God for is to teach you patience while you wait. Mm -hmm. And then um, 
in teaching your patients, you have to sometimes tell him, Lord, forgive me for doubting you. That's what I say. Yep, 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 yep. And so, if if because he's evidently trying to teach you a lesson and just listening, yeah, you know, Lord, give give me the patience, help me to see it your way, you know, and 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 then ask him when he does make an opportunity that you will see it, you yes. will know it, you know, and and. Work at relaxing, trusting. You you trust him, but you you're not trusting him all the Right. Because <laughs> so. it seemed like I wanted, you know, so much and I know it's coming, but it's like hurry up. But yeah. I know in due time it when it gets here, it's gonna be worth the wait, but it's yeah. more or less like I put myself on a time clock, you know. When technically, God has his own time clock. <laughs> right. But you know, the song said he might not come when you want him, but he's right on time. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> and when that, and, and I'm looking forward to it because when that happened and you still on this uh, website, you know, <laughs> on the other, uh, I'm going to say, you know what? Remember that conversation we had on the phone? <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. And just like you doing now, I pray that you're doing it when I send it to you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That'd yeah. be a great time. That'd be a great time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Time for a shout of praise. Uh, and, and and it's gonna be worth the wait and, and Yes. You know. Yes. Yes. But I do appreciate and thank you for being my teacher and allow me to, how would I say, vent a little bit today <laughs> and to showing me what to do on these courses and, and how to do it and put and having me put my creativity towards it and to yeah, make, you, make it go boom, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, well, you, 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 you did a a, a real good job. Like I said, it was commendable, and it didn't look like you struggled too much. So, you know, it, it was it was really nice. And then just you're sharing your story and, and the different uh, steps and phases that will help most of our students who who get to that point. Yeah, it really will. Right. Yeah. Well, Nadine, this has been good. And, uh, I I love it. I'm surprised I even had this uh, this <laughs> app, and I never used it because I, you know, <laughs> but I'm had to use it now. Yeah. If anybody else got it. <laughs> if you you got hang out, well, let's hang out together. <laughs> and 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 any any of your friends that has Gmail. Mhm. Mm I have that too. Email, see, and uh, if they have a uh, smartphone or anything, they can download it. And Gmail has a hangout in it. So yeah, because I talk with my sister from Arizona all the time. I don't have, oh, I don't have a right. telephone bill. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, well, this is great. This is great. I, I enjoy talking to you. And you too. Uh, you be good. And it was a privilege for you being in the course. Thank you so much for allowing me to be there and accepting me as one of your students. Yes, yes. So you be good and take care. And I expect to hear great things. All right, now. I'll okay. keep you informed. Okay. Have a Bye. good night. Good night.